All right, we're going. So it's been a while since we've done this, but I'm bringing back zombie training. Since somebody decided that I could uh, get a book deal to write about how kids can survive the zombie apocalypse. The screen's not focusing. Let me clean it off here real quick. So we have upgraded our arsenal a tad bit from the last time. Hold fire for just a second. Don't kill me. So last time we did this, we had two guns. Now we look like we're freaking Nerf NRA members. We've got hundreds of bullets, <laughs> multiple guns, some that the kids can't use. We got them for the kids. Well, we're acting, man, but uh, I'm just going to use them for myself. We've got a two-year-old holding her gun upside down. We are, are ready to go. Let's see if I can lose an eye today. So I'm going to be the zombie in this demonstration. They're going to shoot me. <laughs> you know what? The acronym works, Arachnid Man. That's a, that's a very good point. So as you can see, I field test all the ideas I'm putting into this book. This is going to be high quality knowledge we go here. There's a screaming child off to the side. Not my problem at the moment. All right, guys, go ahead and shoot at me. I'm going to come get you. We'll see if they avoid friendly fire on each other. Ah, hitting the leg. Aim for the head. Ah, <laughs> something only a father would tell you. You're not going to hear that from mom. Shoot him in the face. Ah, aim. Ah. All right, I'll help you. Hold on. In the real world, the zombies aren't going to help you shoot them. Use two hands. No, don't shoot me there. Do not Zom do that. Zombies are not real. Shh. Zombies are real. Sometimes. All right, there you go. I'm going to back up here so you don't kill me. Hold on a second. All right, go ahead and fire again. Daddy, my Fall back into the house then with all the other guns. You've got a million of them in there. Okay. I know, I'm very understanding this. I'm, I'm probably coddling them too much here. Grab another gun. Yeah, I'm not a real zombie, unless I am. All right, fall back into the house. So they got it all boarded up. They've got all their, their weapons loaded. All right, ah, that was a good shot. I'm gonna get you. Ow, that pistol hurts. That's right. Just gotta keep killing them wave after wave after wave. Let me fall back here. <coughs> Try using one of those big fancy stormtrooper guns. Those things are cool. Yeah, you think that's pretty funny, don't you? You gonna kill me too? Yeah. Try using one of the big guns back there. Yeah, uh, what? Ow. <laughs> Those things pack a punch. Oh, that's my phone. You don't get the phone, you get the gun. Uh, maybe someday you'll want to trade that, I'm sure. You're going to shoot the gun too? All right, you shoot the gun too. Yeah, toddlers, see, toddlers can help in the zombie apocalypse. Contrary to popular belief, they're not always useless. Ah! A lot of fire coming. Kind of Whoa, there you go. You got that gun working again. Ow, okay, that one hit me in the ear. That one kind of hurt. <laughs> this year. Yeah. If I grab one of them and pull them out, the screaming and crying will be horrendous. They will be traumatized for life. Oh, almost. Ah. Hurry, rotate, hurry. Okay. <laughs> Two year old is now throwing bullets at me. That might be an effective approach. Who knows? You could probably kill a zombie if you had a good enough arm. Who knows? You're gonna go retrieve ammunition. There you go. Always send the smallest. Always send the smallest and least valuable member to get the bullets. It just makes sense. All right. I'm gonna get you. Why are you soaking wet? Did you sit in water? Oh, well, that's all right. I'm going to stop touching you now. All right. Back up here again for another attack. Use the big guns. Use the big guns. Always go for the big guns. That's Zombie Apocalypse 101. Now, if we have a smaller child on the move. Do you want to come shoot too? I imagine she's going to eat bullets. That might be somewhat counterproductive. We'll see if we can avoid catching a baby in the crossfire. Yeah, don't hit the ceiling. There's the chandelier earlier that we had a lightsaber battle under. Don't want to do that. Surprisingly, we've only broken a few of those in our time here, which is kind of shocking. It survived 100 years until my kids came into this house. Now, those crystals are an endangered species. You are in. I see you. You're going to eat that dart? I'm sure that's healthy. I'll just let you go. You're being quiet. Use one of the... 
because I didn't. Grab the gun. That's all right. You're going to have to fight in, uh, in close quarters in the zombie apocalypse. Grab the big guns back there, the fun ones. No, thanks. Oh, they got these really cool guns for their birthday that only I know how to use. <laughs> They're way too complicated for ages six and under, but I love them. You know how to use them? Well, use them. Yeah, but, but they always get stuck. Well, just try it. See what happens. Okay. There we go. It probably is as healthy as the McNugget. The red ones are from the, the new Stormtrooper guns. You going to eat those? Yeah, okay. it tastes... Urgh. Load up your gun. Here, grab another gun. Urgh. Ready to go? Ah! Urgh. Ah! <laughs> need to back up these sort of close range because I am a massive pansy right by my face. Did you see that one go by? Yeah. <laughs> Ow, right, right in the glasses. <laughs> I'm wearing these things to avoid going blind and they hit me right in the middle of them. Yeah, there's bullets everywhere now. And this, they have enough in there they could keep that rate of fire going for hours. Anyway, I am throwing together a terrible book about all these tips on how to survive the zombie apocalypse with children, and you should buy that to send my kids to college, assuming that college, you know, costs $400 or less, because nobody's going to buy this book. All right, catch you guys later.